beautiful Orange, California is the place to be. It's homecoming tonight, and that means the Pomona Pitzer Sagehands are going to take on the Chapman Panthers. We're live here at Chapman University at Wilson Field at Ernie Chapman Stadium. Hi, everybody. I'm Josh Blunder alongside my partner, Dan Batts, and it's the first Skyac matchup of the season between these two teams. Dan, what's happening tonight? It's a beautiful, cool night here in sunny Orange County, and I mean, the energy is just electric. There's people in the Piazza, the Duffer Brothers are at Dodge. Things are going on here at Chapman University. They're gonna have to do a good job of keeping Noble upright tonight if they want to get a road win, looking for the end zone, and he's got his tight end. That's Quinton Wimmer for the early score and touchdown for the Sage Hens, striking early. And the crowd is a bit silent on this Chapman side as Noble connects with his dominant tight end, Quentin Wimmer, Dan. The kick will be up and good. So Pomona takes a 7-0 lead. Oh, your part in that was Kyler Paris, place kicker for Pomona. So 7-0 early, Dan. You got to be happy with that start if you're the Sage Hens. A few comfort, comfortable, really. It looks like they got a cover four defense right now. Just going to play a bit soft as Espinoza in the pocket. We'll dump it off to Isaiah Woods crossing the 30, up past the 40 yard line and he'll be tackled. We'll see where the officials will mark it. And it looks like they will give him a first down. What a play from Isaiah Woods to Seichen. Second and 12, Espinoza fakes the handoff. Throwing it out to John Crawl with the spin move. Picking another tackle and he's out. Looks to be crossing the field and getting a first down for the Panthers. Number nine, he's a wide receiver. And Viral's kick will sail through the uprights and good. So Chapman gets on the board with 341 remaining in the first quarter. And Tapia will kick this one down to the two yard line. Run up. Crossing that 15, breaking a tackle at the 30 yard line. Crossing that 45 midfield. And he's gonna go all the way potentially on this. Colin Keith trying to bring him down. Going into the end zone all the way for a touchdown. Taking that one all the way to the house. Wow. During the return, holding number 80, return team. Oh. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Oh man. Yeah, and that's so. just a that's just a strike to the heart to get that sent all the way back. Oof. No, it is. That would have put them up 14 to 3 right here in the first quarter. And Noble looking towards the end zone. That is Quentin Wimmer for the touchdown. The Sage Hand strike again. Second touchdown grab of the game and his fourth on the season. Wimmer on a beautiful, beautiful back shoulder throw from Skyler Noble. Pomona taking a 13-3 lead, Dan. In the red zone, takes it and he's gonna run it right up the middle. Noble going into the end zone, spinning and in for the touchdown. The Sage Hen strike again. Doing terrific job in the red zone, Dan, and scoring and they will take the lead 20-3. They pile it on in this first half. And we talked it. Espinoza rolling left side wide open. John Crawl. Beautiful throw from Espinoza as is caught at the one yard line. What a throw from Espinoza. Flipping his hips and delivering a strike to John Crawl as the Panther crowd now on their feet. The umpire giving it to him. Espinoza handing it off to Mendoza. And he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. He's fired up in the Chapman Panthers strike. As a roar goes through this crowd. Panthers trail nine to 21 after a, a nice drive, Dan. And special teams, Espinoza looking over the middle of the field. James Kroll with a reception in the first down. If you look at a play that might be a difference in this game, go back, folks, to a third and 15 where Espinoza connects to sophomore wide receiver James Kroll. This was a guy that came in, played in the last game of the year at Laverne. This is his first time being able to be in a starting role with Corona out. But the man to watch is going to be at the bottom of your screen, number 45, Quinton Wimmer. As Noble will fake 
The throw in, Noble's got space. He's at the 20, 10, five end zone. Touchdown, Skylar Noble. Sprinting right into the end zone for that touchdown to extend the lead. Pomona of 27 to 10. Against trying to make something as he drops back. Looking for the end zone, wide open out there with the diving grab. Wyatt Harden for the touchdown. And the Panthers strike for 25 yards. Espinoza putting it on Wyatt Harden and I just gotta tip my hat to Wyatt Harden. What a catch. So second back. and six, Noble. Under pressure and he's brought down by Alfonso Farmore Jr. in the backfield. And that's going to set up a third and 14, Dan. We'll get right into it. it. Snap is good, the kick is good. And the Pomona <laughs> Pitzer Seichens extend the lead to 14 points with 14.09 remaining in the fourth quarter. The yeah. kneel down victory formation means you just gotta win. You can kneel it out. I need anything, so this game will take one more snap. I mean, in football, when you talk about splash plays, touchdowns, right, run after a catch, kick return, special teams playing well for Pomona, and that was that was really the difference in, in my book. You had what was about four. You can't really sum it up anyway besides how it could have been different for Chapman if they didn't have some of those, uh, those plays, but Pomona, give them all the credit in the world. They came out to play and a very difficult environment to get a win at, at Chapman on, the, on this field.